Man. Damn, dude, you guys got work. Man, it's it's rough. But there was a small part of me that really wanted Tampa Bay to win, so yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, but you good know. luck. Hey guys, 2021, we need to go talk about snakes in the snake barn. Head out, guys, and check it out. My name is Chris Downport with These Balls out of Stewart, Florida. And I'm Zach with Bueller Reptiles and out of the same town. All right, so today we're going to give a shout out to RMB Reptiles. My buddy Ben, he got married last week. Um, you know, we want to say congratulations on the, the wedding. And Jeffy was inspired by him today wearing his uh, RMB Reptile shirt. And he's got that trusty beard that Ben rocks. So anyways, today we're going to talk about a few of the animals that Ben works with. Um, some of the animals we got from Ben, some of the animals he has, he's got from us. So we're going to talk about that. Hope you guys enjoy. Congratulations, Ben. All right. So the first gene we're going to talk about today is the Arroyo in the super form of the Rio. So what the Arroyo is, is it's a pattern mutation, and then it's a dark gene that has, um, it causes um, dorsal striping. So what we have here is we have a Arroyo Mojave Het Clown, or Het Pied, Het Ghost. And this male, what, or this female was, um, I got it from Tony with Hardwired, but this is a gene that Ben and Ryan um, R&B they work with, and you can kind of see, you know, the dorsal pattern. And a lot of times you'll see the dorsal pattern, and then you'll see these little with the alien heads, the islands, and um, and then you'll see the darkness. It's a dark gene, and then you'll see like here. He's pretty feisty. See the. It's the Mojave in the Arroyo, you get these little islands with the little, you know, the dots in them. And then along the dorsal pattern, you will get the, you know, the dark chocolate on them, um, real dark along the dorsal and you can see how it lightens up. So it works really well with Mojave. And, um, you know, this is a, a gene that, you know, we have a ghost pied male, so I picked up this female to try to make pied ghost arroyo mojaves and see what that does. Say so that three times fast. I know, Jeez. exactly. So right here we have, a, again, a mojave arroyo and it is um, het pied and het ghost. And you can kind of see the belly, clean belly on it. Very nice. Yeah, so you can see the Mojave working its way up with the, the patterns. And then you can see the islands that it does. So. Two islands in the string. Yeah, and then there's a super form also. So the super form. Is the Rio. Is the Rio, and we're gonna show that one next. All right, so this is the second animal, and this is the only other animal in that, you know, Royo Royo, but this is a super form. So this right here, is a real mystic and so you can also see the dorsal stripe pattern in the super form another thing that you look for is in, along the dorsal stripe you'll get these little like uh, patterns like little uh, spots mm -hmm. inside the dorsal and then you can see the islands you right. know the dots inside it tends the to be a little bit more separated in this particular yeah example. so it separates it and then you can see along the dorsal pattern you get that darkness and then it fades down to the lightness. So again, um, on this one, the belly is not as clean, but you know, that other one is het for two, you know, recessive genes. So that might be cleaning up the belly. But on this one right here is a real mystic. Very cool. Yeah, so, you know, it's exciting. Um, we put this to a vanilla 
um, you know, since it's a dark gene, trying to go a light gene with it and um, a super vanilla and see what it does. And, um, you know, I'm not very familiar with the gene, but, you know, it was a gene that, you know, sparked my interest with me having the ghost and the pied with that other one. And then this one, I have a lot of light gene stuff, so trying to get, you know, that stuff. So, all right, so Rio Mystic male breeder and I got this guy from Brian from Amazing Reptiles for you out of California. All right so right here we have a dark import that we got in and we bred her last year to a leopard cypress and so um, Ben and Ryan have the female one of the the sisters out of this clutch and so um, this year the male is, he's about 450 grams now, and we'll show him next, but we'll put that male back to her to see if, in, if any supers, if there's anything, but um, it really reacted very well with the leopard cypress, and you can see how dark she is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, she's just an import, and that's, you know, working with the import genes and stuff like that, um, you know, it's a crapshoot. It's like you don't really know what you're gonna get if there's a super form or it's just a, a dark uh, normal. So we're excited about this um, project and Ben and Ryan also have, you know, one of the siblings out of the Herc um, clutch. But you can kind of see, she's, you can kind of see, you know, the pattern comes up across very dark, you know, along the belly. He's uh, feisty. A little lively today, huh? Yeah, you can see the belly's crazy, you know, with the stri striping. Oh, nice. You know, down there, you know, it, it goes, alien heads go across. So, but yeah, this is, um, this is the mom to um, their, their baby that they have up there in New Jersey. So what do we have here? So right here, we have the, the baby from their clutch. So right here, I believe it to be a cypress. And then I think it has, it's darker than a normal cypress. So I believe it to have something else. And that's why we're gonna put this male back to the mom to see if there's a super form or what we're working with. Or it's just, you know, I'll get, a, I'll get some cypress and a bunch of normals. Um, but as you can see, the belly, super, you know, um, dark, crazy. Um, you can see along the top is really dark. Usually the cypress will lighten things up, but you can tell in the head that um, it has a cypress. You get, you get a, a lighter head. And then you also have, you know, along the dorsal stripe, it's breaking up um, the pattern. And then you get some of the alien heads um, with the broken pattern. So I believe this to be a cypress, and then it's influenced by that dark import. So a cypress something. Cypress something, yeah. So, you know, that's a, the fun thing about this hobby and business is that you get to try to find, you know, we just, un, we haven't really tapped into everything that there's out there, you know. Um, in, just trying to, you know, find the supers and, you know, see what it does and put Whether different Whether it's dominant, codom, recessive. Yeah. So or if there's anything at all. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna, we're gonna see. We're excited about this. So right here, we have a cypress that I think is influenced by the dark import. And we'll see um, this year what comes to it. But he's about 400 grams, um, eating well. And um, we'll start, um, you know, once he gets a little bit bigger, we'll start putting him to her. Awesome. So we've got right here is the sister of the one that Ben and Ryan have. This looks like it might have leopard in it. Yep. So this carried the leopard gene and then you can see the cypress, but then it's really dark. You know, I made some other leopard cypresses this year. And one thing you is different is the head. You have these these uh, dark round circles. And sometimes you get that in spot nose, um, along the head stamp, you get these uh, circles and spots, like my spot nose yellow belly clown has it. But I think, you know, 
It's really a super dark snake for being a leopard cypress. You know, it's hard with leopard and cypress because leopard's such a dominant gene mm -hmm. that it eats up the cypress. But you can kind of tell of the lightness and you flip it over and the belly has that orange hue to it and the stripes down, you know, a dirty belly. Um, but overall, you know, great, you know, this made me excited about that snake. When I saw this come out, I was like, man, there's got to be something else in there um, playing with it. So, you know, time will tell. Um, by the time she's ready to breed, hopefully the male will go to the female and then we'll be able to see what really is in that gene by the time that she's ready to go. But yeah, I mean, great looking snake. Um, has the potential and um, that's yeah, it's about. definitely super dark. Yeah, so, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. All right, so um, this would be kind of an update on um, a couple of the animals. We have more than that, but we just brought two today. Um, these actually are over at Zach's place because he's set up better than me for them. And um, these are Eastern blue tongue skinks and they're putting on some size they are you're feeding them good I'm trying my best that cat food it is it whole is. grain yeah. it's like the the organic whole grain no homogenization no pasteurization it's all all natural all natural and you got to feed them the best the best the best that's my motto that's right but you know um we're excited about this to see you know you know, it just ventures out, it gives us something else to work on and stuff like that. Um, they're putting on some good size. Um, they seem, as they're getting bigger, um, they seem more relaxed than when they were over here. Yeah, for the most part, I mean, uh, you know, when I go to pull them out initially and they're kind of warm, warmed up a little bit, they tend to be a little more excitable. Yeah. Uh, they'll do a little hissing at me, a little mock head butter, you know, just trying to... Trying to fend you off. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like that big guy's coming to grab me. He's like, ooh, ooh. So, I'd be scared too. Oh, come on, my hands are clean. I, I know your hands are clean, but I don't know what else, <laughs> but. So anyway, uh, yeah, but once you get them out, they're, they're really, you know, docile animals, kind of, you know, tamed down pretty quick, and yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I just, just looked at them, and I mean, their belly, Super, I mean, super orange, which is pretty cool. You know, I, I like the look of them. Um, the crazy tongue. Um, it's funny when you hold them and the little legs just kind of kick out. And... <laughs> yeah. So small in comparison to the rest of the body. Yeah, so it's like a weenie dog in lizards. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so I miss my little hot dog wing girl. So anyways, you know, um, yeah, we got these from Ben and Ryan and they're really big into the blue tongue skink and um, they're doing well guys. So I wanna thank everybody for watching this week. Um, like, subscribe, leave comments, um, what you'd like to see from us and we'll see you next week. Like to say, uh... A special hello to Alex and Ace, my kids, my niece and nephew, Bianca and Tony, and to my one of my best friends, Ronnie's son, James Good. Until next time. Inspired by Ben's wedding, this week Jeffy's rocking his black t-shirt from R&B Reptiles and, and a straw surfer hat from Billabong. Tune in next week and see what Jeffy's wearing next. These balls, always earned, never given.